day. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's week 14 of the NFL on EA Sports. The Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They've been as hot as anyone. The win last week makes it 9 out of 10. The results are hard to argue. If there's a team better suited for the postseason right now, I don't know who they are. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Throw on third down. Clifton has taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Throwing on first down. Clifton looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Back to throw. Clifton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were very solid last week in the victory over Baltimore. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. So just three yards on the completion there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. Call it a pickup of three and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And trotting out there, leading them is their fourth-year quarterback. 
We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yardage with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Toss play, Richardson. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. The Panthers hit 11 and 1 now on the year. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And if we look back to last week, it was all about their defense. Let's face it, anytime you hold an NFL team to single digits in this era of high flying offenses, that's saying something. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hodges. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now a give right side. Richardson, and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll run again with Richardson. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Now you look at this Saints defense. And they come in to play number 12 in the NFL against the run. They're not an elite unit. They're not, as what you'd say, the top part of the league against the run. They're a solid group, though. They do a good job. What they're looking for in this one, though, is an elite performance. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Looking to throw. Green, that is caught. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They'll run on first down. It's Richardson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Operating from the gun. Green. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Here we go now on first and goal. In motion left goes Cooks. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he takes this down to about the 2 before going out of bounds. From the 2 now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, they seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. 
Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Now the numbers for White a week ago. 15 carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown. There were some signs of life from their ground game last week, but overall, just a so-so performance. Everyone knows they can make a slight improvement how they contribute to this aspect of the offense. Lyman can set their blocks and hold them a little bit longer, and he can be quicker to the hole and hit a lane. If they do that, they should get some better numbers produced this week. On second down, they'll run with White. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. From the gun on third down, Clifton looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Perry. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. First down, here's White. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Opting to run again here with White. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, You've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Back to throw. Clifton, quick slam, caught by Moore. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now back to the ground game with White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Looking to throw. Clifton, open man, the tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A good pick up there, a 22. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. 
Come on, set, yellow, 43. Operating from the gun. Clifton looking middle, and it's incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Back to throw. Clifton, he gets it over the middle to Palmer. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And his kick is indeed good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. 44. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Play fake. Green. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Richardson. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. Looking to throw. Green. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Grover Stewart, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Come on, come on. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Back to throw. Green. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Green. From the gun on third down. 
as his old brain remembers. When I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good, and this will stay a four-point game. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Operating from the gun. Clifton, another catch by White. Back-to-back -back plays. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Clifton. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Back to throw. Clifton. Allen's got it over the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. They'll look to throw again. They'll find Lindsey here. Touchdown, Saints! A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints have taken the lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Complete. Richardson has it. And some room to work. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. He finds his man complete. That's Richardson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. 
And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This from 54 yards away. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland. And it's the Browns who are out on top. Nick Chubb with two touchdowns thus far. From there, let's get to Philadelphia as we check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. Brandon Ayuk, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And they trail the visiting Lions in that one. Donovan Peoples-Jones, a touchdown reception. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now a toss to Richardson. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Operating from the gun, Green. Throw left side complete to Chase. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Looking to throw, Green. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Drake. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Back to throw. Green. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, teams have a tough time running the ball as this one has throughout this game. It's so easy to just say, forget it, let's throw the football. But that's exactly why you stay with the running game. Eventually, you stick with it, you make some adjustments, you often find ways to run the ball better as the game goes on. to him on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. Looking to throw. Green. He finds his man complete. That's Hodges. 
It'll go as a gain of four. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Operating from the gun, Green. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. And he's going to ball his way in for a Panther score. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. The try here for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. Drive and a nine-yard run on the end of it. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. To throw on second down. Clifton. That pass complete to Moore. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Back to throw. Clifton able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Going right side is White. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop it behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and twelve. We've seen this a few times in this game. That offensive line just, I don't know if you want to call it out physical, out tough, whatever you want to use. And what people do when that is happening, when they're getting dominated that way, they spread things out a little bit, make it more of a space game, and allow your skill position players to make a few plays out in open field. Take away the physical element, gives you a chance. Looking to throw on second down. Clifton. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. On third down, Clifton over the middle complete. It's Lindsay. 
And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some <laughs> massive men. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. To throw is green on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Back to throw again. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Richardson. Stiff-armed him. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards, the pick up there, and also a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Richardson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Operating from the gun, Green. Open man is Chase complete. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to make it fourth down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, 
nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. They start to drive with White. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Here's a second and three now from the 33. They keep it on the ground. White again. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Now a first carry for their fullback. Four yards the pickup, first down. They'll go up the middle with White. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Palmer. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Perry. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 29-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Here we go. Here the we drive go. continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. To throw on second down, Clifton. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Now an inside draw, this is their fullback. Only a yard that time, second and goal. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator, body after body, getting to him before he can get started. Here now, second and goal. Ready. 
Looking to throw. Clifton firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. As expected, they're going for it to keep the bits incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They kept it in the air on fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth, couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have as much time to throw the football, and a receiver really can't run past you. If they do, they run out of the back of the end zone. Nice job by the D, shutting them down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the ground, here's Richardson again. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They run with Richardson. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Green to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So all eyes on the Saints offense. Trailing 17-10, a little over a minute and a half remaining. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. They'll look to throw. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Back to throw. Lindsey held the receiving end. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. Here comes second down and five. Into the hands of Perry, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 26. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. This one came right down to the wire, and CD they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, 
There's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen. So for the Panthers, the win moves them to 12 and one now on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they're squarely in play for next year mode now as they drop to two and 11. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.